Shalom, shalom, everyone. This is Rabbi Yehuda. Uh, I want to share with you some things that uh, Hashem has been laying strongly upon my heart and upon my spirit over the past few weeks, and that is the matter of simplicity, of just thinking, feeling, acting, living, teaching, simplicity. Um, God's Word is so simple. It's, it's so plain to understand, but yet we, as human beings, for some reason, think it's too simple, and we decide to complicate it with our doctrines and our interpretations and such. And I'd like to read to you a blog I recently wrote called Doctrine of the Sheeple. David, Isaiah, and Messiah Yeshua all likened us to the gullible and dim-witted of all animals, the sheep. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want, Psalm 23, 1. We, like sheep, have gone astray, Isaiah 53, 6. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they know me, John 10, 27. You know, sheep are so stupid, they can actually drown while standing on dry ground. Uh, this is why the psalmist says in Psalm 23, 2, uh, he leadeth me beside still waters, because sheep, their nose is parallel with their mouth. And if they were to drink from a fast-flowing river or fast-flowing stream, as they drank, the water would rush up through their nose and go directly into their lungs, and they can drown while standing on dry ground. Um, they, they don't have enough sense to know that they're drowning. They don't have enough sense uh, to find uh, still waters and quiet streams. That's why you don't see wild sheep running around. All sheep are domesticated. They just can't survive without a shepherd. And I dare say that sheep are running uh, much of the Messianic and Netzari movement, more so than the shepherd. Now, why do I say this? Well, because we are the dim-witted sheep. Then God's word, his Torah, his laws, his instruction, and the doctrines that lie therein has to be pretty simple for us to understand and follow. But all I'm hearing is doctrine and theology that makes me furrow my brow, cock my head, curl my lip, and say, what? It's theobabble, theological babble, that sounds a lot like the, the, the untranslatable bleh, the bleeding of sheep. I'm no, I mean, I'm no theologian, um, and I'm no intellectual slacker either. I'm no dummy. I got high marks in my systematic theology class in Bible college, and I can knock it around with the best of them, but choose not to because you rarely change anyone's mind, you end up making unnecessary enemies, and you get a headache to boot. I hate battling over semantics, and I hate splitting hairs. There comes a point when you break things down, even beyond their basic elements, and theology and doctrine spill over into the realm of philosophy and quantum physics, and one realizes that they have tore things apart so much and picked things apart so much that they can't piece it back together again. This is the very thing that haunted the great Albert Einstein. He dubbed himself the Jew that killed God. Um... Sheep are so dumb and faulty that if they survived a, bon a, a barn fire with only minor smoke inhalation, they'd blame oxygen for bringing the smoke to them and then decide to start breathing carbon monoxide instead. This is what's happening with Messianic and Netzari Judaism. Instead of taking the scriptures for what uh, the Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek say that they mean, we are running ourselves through with a rusty, jagged, double-edged sword. Many of us have come out of Christianity feeling angered and betrayed by the cover-up and the paganism that lies within it, and we run to Judaism thinking, ah, they're closer to the Torah, so they must have it all figured out, when they don't even know who the Messiah is, and approximately a quarter or more of their doctrine was formed as a reactionary tactic to separate themselves from the Nazarim, hence the double-edged sword. Then some try to marry uh, uh, doctrines of Christianity and Judaism, uh, and then others just create this whacked-out reactionary doctrine that doesn't resemble Judaism or Christianity. And this is the incubator in which cults are born, the sweatshop of red flag-making, if you will. Look, forget Calvin, forget the Rambam. Why can't we just not throw the baby out with the bathwater and look at the simple, plain truth of Scripture instead of trying to determine who's right, Christianity or Judaism? Read it with new eyes as if you've never set foot in a church or a synagogue. Uh, with such and such denomination or sect name over the door. You know, I'm all about truth, and I'm not saying I got it 100% correct, because I don't. As long as I'm solid on the Torah, 
the virgin birth, the deity of Messiah, his sinless life, his atoning sacrificial death, his burial, resurrection, ascension, soon return and reign of this divine Messiah, Yeshua. The rest is doctrine that has nothing to do with one's salvation or personal standing with God, and such differences in doctrine that vary from person to person or denomination to sect I can live with. You know, it's like tomato, tomato, potato, potato. You know what I'm saying? Simplicity is not the same as stupidity and in ignorance. Simplicity is happiness. Simplicity is truth. I want to be a simple, happy, loving person, not some miserable, tortured, theological genius, preoccupied, wasting my time, always battling the next ridiculous doctrinal fad or firestorm that comes along uh, in this movement. I want to be focused on loving God and loving people and leading them to God through the Torah and through Messiah. Look, I'm done splitting uh, hairs. I'm, I'm done with the non-essentials. You know, I'm held accountable to be a good steward of my time, for my time is really on God's watch. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to stand before Abba Father and him ask me why I wasted so much of my time arguing over doctrine and theology instead of loving people as Messiah did and teaching Torah through, through uh, the Messiah. So uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Shalom and Shavuot Tov.